The courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. How many people's lives have you saved? From Brooksay, from Leshens? That has no bearing. Asked you a question, how many? There's something to think about, folks. Preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all her at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. They will I never let your kind in, no crap. White head like a miller's song. Papa says. <laughs> ah. The grey one again. Don't be swinging on his hinges all day. Good when you're giddy. You get everything? Come back once you've got it all. You get everything? Come back once you've got it all. should be. Mouth burned with formaldehyde. Familiar sight. And a letter. You sought a servant of the eternal fire, yet you were blinded by its flame. Wasn't Nathaniel. Damn it.
Wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry then, some other bloke's already after it. When did you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. He's lying in there where I found him. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. I was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks. So long. Arrgh. like rain. Not the marks of a garcane or a flutter.
tracks. Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go. So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Caradin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Caradin? Asking you for the last time. Guards, to the dungeon with them. guy's more trouble than the Ekimara. Karadin's disappeared, I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Necessary. Yes. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The Tavern Vienne frequents? Yeah. See you later.
What do you want? Nims mugs. Rosten mugs. Need your help in a grave matter. What's this grave matter? I came here on business. Sadly, just there across the river. Toward the bridge's end, I was attacked. Smashed a bottle of the finest dwarven spirit on the bugger's skull. But the robbery was still a partial success. Tell me what you want already, and be brief. Thief ran off with my documents. Very important documents. I need you to get him back for me. And you think this is Witcher's work because? Why wouldn't it be? Well, not like your papers were stolen by a manticore or a drowner. Sorry, you'll have to get someone else to help you. Swarthy god fucker! Here I tell you my troubles! Trust you like a brother! And this is how you repay me! The pox eat your stones! High time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? Oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of the Lander. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. Far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the Ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a Duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the School of the Cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And yet, Carradine? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vien. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Vien. What do you want? We want to see Yad Karadin. <laughs> Now, why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. 
outside. He's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund. But they scattered us all over the world. Sleaze went to Tresigal, Hammond to Skellige, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to then. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. No. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces. But I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt Salise. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh. Won't see it come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. This Salise. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal. The kind rich men frequent. Or suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Salise always did have horrible taste. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Salise. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... Do whatever you think's right, Lambert. Not here to preach morals. <laughs> Do what you think is right? Only one thing worse than cold-blooded murder. Hypocrisy. Informers, racist snitches! Vienne, bloody hell, what is it? They've come for me, Varen! I told you someone would! Sooner or later! Nessa Ted! Shit. <laughs> You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige, try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Salise. Lambert, let's talk about this. No, let's not. This is one of those situations, serious situations, when you don't ask unnecessary questions and just help your friend. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck.
Mother of Bengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krit, who helped break down the druid's resolve. What do you need? Oh, come no closer. The heat from the fern? What are you selling? What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. I'll be back.
gods of the sea, I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? I'm looking for Yad Karadin. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Carradin. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! like rain.
Finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld buses, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. You are an offense to the majesty of the eternal fire. How is business? took you. Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learned something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Solis? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. All right. Let's pay Carradine a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. It remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. 
talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day with a clean slate. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. I remember him as I remember all the others with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him, we were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? Maybe you've changed. Maybe not. To me and Lambert, it doesn't matter. You killed Aiden. Fuck your new life. I don't believe in giving second chances. Do what you want, Lambert. Your friend, your vengeance. You've been waiting a long time for this. And I don't aim to die. Damn it! Thanks for your help, Geralt. You're welcome. Wanna talk about it? No. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert.
this comes to me. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The King of Beggars, oh. man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Uh, fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. You're kidding, right? We'll give you ten. Geralt, what are you... Be quiet. You're fucking with fire, git! I don't have to haggle with you. Final offer, faulty. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Thirty-fives as low as we'll go. Twenty-fives are limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tren. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should... You should go home, Elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys! News travels fast! What do you do?
Careful, there could be more in there. Careful, there could be more in there. Careful, there could be more in there. Follow me. What now? Crap in the goods! What now? Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat, while your partner's just flown the coop. Oh, damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. Katori, wait! Oh god, the Reaper's coming! This drink for its kneeling night! Katori? You in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits. Make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me! What? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. I'm out. Me? You're out to it. The ring has come for me. I'm sorry. The thing I kiss me to Yes, I should interject.
What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Garrett? Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, are we? I'm gonna kill you, Tori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Your brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where will I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get. Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes, I'm on my way. Took care of it. Traitor said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. 
Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't say why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. I've yet to thank you for your help with Tinboy. I'd never dreamt I could get away with paying so little. I have something for you. Thanks. How are things with Sucrus? All is in order. I can pay him now. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Oh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Greetings. Oh, Garrett. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the Sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Sensitive. 
I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark them with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. This is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plain nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zygrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I'll lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? None of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. Hey, darling. Like what you see? Where are those crafting supplies? This is goat fucker! Oi, Garrett. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus! Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you! That plowy non shoot will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs! Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam! Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! You unkempt bugger! Friends? Course, friends! What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Stelliger before he comes to. 
won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I gotta pay him a visit too. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. I've no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. <laughs> Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? What do you have on offer? So long. Another 
Open up. What are you up? See you. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? Not quite. Come back later. So long. My, what a freak. Mm. 